Hello and welcome everyone, this is Type V3, and today we're taking a look at the Fans Project CA-03 Thundershred from their Causality Crossfire series. This of course is Fans Project's take on the G1 Insecticons, this figure specifically homaging the character of Shrapnel. Now this guy is based off of a stag beetle, which is plainly obvious from the huge giant mandibles at the front of the figure, and I think it looks pretty good. The purple and yellow they used are very vibrant, and I think it contrasts well against the deep black. As for the overall design, I do have some mixed feelings towards it. I am a fan of Fans Project's chunky blocks and angular lines, but I don't feel like this design philosophy translates well to any sort of organic life form alt mode. You really have to squint your eyes to make yourself believe that this is some sort of beetle or insect. But it is okay. As for any movable parts, all the legs are adjustable and you can even open and close the mandibles. They're small little touches, but they're not really going to blow your mind away. He can, however, hold things in those mandibles, but only just, because things do tend to fall out and he can't really balance that well in terms of weight. As for size, he does tend to be a rather large deluxe, and, but I think that's mostly down to the fact that his legs are so huge and the fact that his mandibles extend out that it makes him look larger than he actually is. But enough of this insect observation, we should check out his transformation. The first step in getting Thunder Shred to robot mode is to remove the giant mandibles via the 3mm clips. Now these things are pegged on very tight so you gotta pull hard. After that, you got a transformation which is conceptually simple, but it does rely on a lot of small, careful, detailed little moves. For example, pulling his arms out of the legs is a tough ordeal as you don't want the forearms to clip on the inside of the shins and therefore ripping off the arms. Also, the arms themselves have a lot of articulation, and they do tend to confuse you as if they are used more in terms of the transformation design sequence. As for the weapons, they are a bit parts forming, and that is a little bit of a disappointment for myself, but the overall effect of what they create is definitely worth what you get. At the end of it all, you have a very chunky, meaty, insect ninja warrior. Large calves, a huge upper torso, and a small head help to emphasize the fact that this guy is large and imposing. Yes, his arms may be small, but the fact that they've got huge giant claws attached to them more than make up for it. I absolutely love this head sculpt as it looks like a Roman guard's helmet along with a metal mouthpiece and glowing red eyes. The overall design of this guy is beautiful. I like how he has huge bulking shoulders that kind of give the illusion that he has no neck and that he's definitely looking like a robot on steroids. The whole thing looks well together and I am not disappointed with this one. The Thundershot has a really nice ball jointed head that can look very high up and side to side. Uh, as for his arms, these are the interesting bits. They're on ball joints, but they can't come in and out, so there's a second joint in here that kind of hinges outwards, which is really nice. There is a upper bicep swivel, which is very tight. Uh, a hinged ball jointed elbow, which is nice, but no wrist swivel, which is kind of okay when you consider the fact that the elbow's on a ball joint. Uh, and these claws can extend out due to the 3mm uh, clip. As for the rest of the figure, there is a waist really tight ball jointed hips like I mean really tight you really got to put some effort into these things and a knee joint is there now it's not double jointed but you can get it to really uh, I guess a uh, same effect as a double jointed knee my only issue with this is that the joint is on the back end of the leg so when you bend it it kind of doesn't really make that much of a height difference uh, it's not really that big of a deal though the feet themselves are on a hinged ball joint so you can get some really nice angular poses out of them but they are a bit limited by the, the design of the foot. Now, one thing I will say is that with the arms, they are really articulated, but he cannot get his two fists the to touch. Now, is this an issue in terms of the overall articulation? I'm not really too sure it's going to affect you that much, but it is one of those things that kind of bug me, so I don't know. I, I kind of wish they were a bit longer. I think it would have worked better for his design, but it could just be me. Now the other weapon that Thundershred comes with is a shuriken or ninja star, whichever you want to call it. And it is a bit oversized, like something you would see out of an anime. The funny part though is it's hard to imagine that someone like this character who is just based on muscle would be able to wield something that has so much dexterity and skill involved. Thankfully, if you don't like the design, you can always reassemble it into a sword. And I like this concept of being able to disassemble and reassemble pieces to create other sort of playstyles. It just adds a whole lot more variety. Although the question must be asked, what would he need a sword for if he already has two claws? Anyways, the size of Thundershred is actually quite small. What he lacks in height, he definitely makes up for in width, but he's not going to definitely look down on any of the robots. Instead, he seems more like the bratty kid who's looking to start some fights. 
Overall, I think that Fans Project's Thunder Shred is an awesome little figure, and definitely one you don't want to overlook, especially if you love transforming insect ninjas. Yes, he's not perfect with the transformation being a little bit finicky and his alt mode being a little conceptual mess, but his robot mode more than makes up for it with its numerous weapons, awesome design, and head sculpt that's just full of character. I recommend really picking this one up, even though he does seem a little bit pricey. Anyways, thanks for watching, this has been Type V3, and I hear a storm coming.